Disclaimer! Under Title 17 U.S. Code in Sections 107 to 118 of the Copyright Law, all media in the video is used for purpose of review and commentary under the terms of fair use. All media used in this belongs to their respective copyright holders, aka I don't own this shit and I don't claim to own this shit, this shit belongs to the people who made it. Also, I swear a lot. If you don't like that, it's just stop watching right now. Anyway, here's the thing. Dear Baron J, I can't help but notice that you've publicly stated you'll be attending Anime Expo this summer. Let me ask you something else, Mr. Baron J. When was the last time you left your house? Day five. I've been trapped inside my house for probably... I think, it, I think it's been five days. I really can't tell. The sun doesn't go down, and... It's pretty much the same every day. I don't know how I didn't notice this before. Whatever entity that has trapped me here has said that I have to do Fist of the North Star, which I am more than glad to do. The only problem is, Anime Expo is in a month, and I've still got 75 episodes to go. So, I'm gonna have to train. Day 22. The damn thing doesn't open. Before, I would open it up and it would lead me right back into my room and I would go around the house. Now, I can't get any food. Last thing I have left is a bag of gummy sharks. I can't quite keep going like this. I'm gonna need water and definitely food at some point. I've been strength training damn near constantly and I have nothing to show for it. It's like I'm frozen in time here. There's nothing I can do. I need to find some way to make a stand toward whoever is doing this. <sighs> frozen in time. Stand. I should probably review JoJo to pass the time. Might as well. Hey everybody, it's Baron J, and yes, I know, I already covered JoJo before, jeez, this is different though. Today we're going to be covering the adaptation that's garnered probably the most interest in the states due to its broadcast on Crunchyroll and others. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, as you may already know, is a long-running manga about the Joestar family, a lineage of badassery designated by a pink star birthmark on the neck of each member to call themselves JoJo in whatever form. Jonathan Joestar, Joseph Joestar, and now in this iteration, Kujo Jotaro, a moody kid from the New York area who, as his father has now found out, has developed the psychic ability known as a stand. Stands are materialized projections of the user's will, and are typically only found in the Joestar bloodline. Stardust Crusaders was the arc that brought this into the storyline and changed the landscape of this iconic series for years to come. Oh, and Dio. Dio is uh, Jonathan Joestar's arch enemy, who turned himself into a vampire, and lives on through spoilers. This is is where the story for Stardust Crusaders begins. Now, it probably goes without saying, but if you're watching this and you're a little confused about all the vampires and nonsense, you've heard about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure but never watched it, stop! What are you doing? Go watch from the beginning of the 2012 adaptation of JoJo, or go watch my embarrassingly old video that I did like a year and a half ago on it. God, I've been doing this for almost two years now. Send help! So the general consensus about Stardust from a grand majority of people is that it lost steam about halfway through its run, and I can understand that. If you've made it this far through JoJo, and you get it, it starts to feel like they're kind of just going through the motions a bit. But that's a little bit of what this arc is, really. I hesitate to use the dreaded F word, but filler doesn't really cut its description. Stardust is a bit of nonsense, and that means a lot coming from anything related to JoJo. See, in Battle Tendency and Phantom Blood, the two previous arcs, we were presented with solid characters and serious situations that are completely not taken seriously. Stardust gives us completely ridiculous concepts and characters and does the opposite, but much to a very similar effect. We're expected to think that this is just fucking silly, look at this shit. But compared to what we've seen already, it's different and we don't like it. Don't like it. And that sentence summarizes a lot of what people tend to think in general about sequels and continuation, not just JoJo. Jesus, I didn't know I was in a mother's basement video this week. <laughs> that was a joke, that guy's actually really, really good. Anyway, let's talk about other shit. The animation and 
art is what you would expect from JoJo. Sharp, contrasting, and wacky character designs, and an attention to hatching and shading that's comparable to an art student's wet dream. The sound is also great. Seriously, whoever is doing the music and sound design for JoJo, give him a medal. Maybe two. Also, let it be noted that the Japanese voice cast is really, really talented and conveys a lot of the nonsense really, really well. To be sure, you've probably already seen Joseph somewhere on the internet because of it. The plot is whatever, and like I've already said, the episodes start to feel like they're wearing thin due to the increasingly varied antics of the Stardust crew. Once everything starts to bear down on Dio's hideout, it starts to pick back up and becomes engaging again. Now, for the random demographic that is the people already watching this video who have seen Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency and are actually wondering if Stardust is worth the hype and their time, I would say, yeah, it is. It may feel like the joke is starting to run a bit dry for you, but it's preluding to something great, so it is quite worth it. Just don't go into it thinking it stands alone. Oh my god! It's the end of the video! Here's a subscribe button, and here's the Facebook, and the Twitter, and the Twitch channel. Jesus Christ! Up on the left hand corner there's shirts, and on the right there's an audiobook. Holy shit! If you have a suggestion for a show for me to watch, let me know in the comments. Sorry about the little bit of a delay in between episodes here, guys. Some of you may already know, but I was in the hospital last week. Long story short, I got a really bad combination of a stomach bug, the flu, and food poisoning. While while I was puking my guts out, I actually ripped the muscle holding my lung in place. At least, I think that's what the doctor said. I was on so many painkillers, I could not understand anything he was saying. But after all is said and done, they got me fixed up, and I'm still here making videos for you. Hashtag fuck a hiatus. That's it for me this week, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye bye